Hello guys, so like in this video I want to talk about a couple of things. So the first thing uh, I want to know a little bit more about my subscribers. So if you don't mind just uh, write down below the comments like uh, what are you like, what is your favorite math topic, where are you from, how old are you, like uh, what kind of topics would you be interested in me to cover in my future videos. And also right now I'm like focusing again like covering uh, multivariable calculus like chapter 10 uh, where we are talking about parametric equations and also like this following week I'm going to post a bunch of videos about like topology like base of topology or in other words like basis and etc so please like uh, share a little bit of information about yourself I just want to know you a little bit better and uh, yeah and one of the small topics that I want to talk about today is like a uh, subsection of informal talks is uh, Gödel's in, uh, incompleteness theorem so let me give you an example of the let's first possibly like state informally what is a good incompleteness theorem it says that like every time we when we're going to choose any set of axioms we always can find some sort of uh, like statement uh, for which we cannot prove or either disprove the statement or in other words for any set of uh, axioms there is always going to be a contradiction uh, so for example let's take our like object as a village and that, that village we have like some villagers and one barber who like just uh, cut uh, people's hair like uh, as a job let's set like uh, just one axiom for that village we have a barber we have other villagers and the axiom is if you're going to take a barber he can uh, cut like everyone else hair except uh, his own so like where is going to be a contradiction? We're just going to ask a simple question, and that question, some sort of, is going to be our proposition. And the question is the following: Who is going to cut Barber's hair? So, if we're going to assume that Barber doesn't uh, cut his own hair, then by definition, he's going to belong to a subset of villagers. Then he needs to go to the barber shop and cut his own hair. But we, he cannot do that by default because we said the barber is allowed to cut everyone else's head except his own. And from the other side, if we're going to assume that Barber can uh, cut his hair, then we're going to obtain contradiction again, because we're going to have two statements uh, which are going to negate each other. So that's why if we're going to ask that simple question, we're going to obtain a contradiction, which is not resolvable uh, within just one axiom. So again, like uh, the first uh, theorem or like the first goal in Kaposin's theorem states that for any finite set of axioms there's always going to be a statement which is not unprovable then there is an, going to be another theorem what if we want to fix that what if we want to add that theorem to that set of axiom either as true or false no it, not like false if we want just to add that uh, theorem to the set of our axioms that that theorem is going to be true then there is a second incompleteness scale theorem which states that even if we're going to uh, make our set of axioms bigger and we're going to resolve one contradiction there is going to show up another contradiction so in other words if you're just going to keep adding axioms to your original set of axioms uh, you will not finish you will not complete that set of axioms for any set of axioms always going to be contradiction and it's not fixable. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and have a nice day. Bye.